Hey guys, it's your boy Carvers, and welcome back to Who My Favorite 18 Liverpool Remote We're continuing on. Keep the recordings going. After recording this video, video, this is the video you will see on Saturday. And don't worry, I will not continuously remind you what day you will, will more than likely see these videos. Liverpool, I think they're a good side, you know. It's more of a reminder for myself, really. Victory against Tottenham Hotspur. 6-0. In case I get lost. Which, uh, I think the confidence that they gained... I'm not going to lie. Could easily happen. And here's Watford, and this is how they're going to lie. Anyway, it's... Yeah, Kabul, for the first, right, I think I didn't have an FA Cup game against Portsmouth. In the lineup. Gonna try one now. This is like, He's gone! This is like first time in start. years. Quick off the blocks here. For me, game ahead. Well, except for you know, the lower league career modes I do off screen. But he was rewarded for his bravery with the perfect volley. And since I don't really to OZ, but that one back of the net. Well done, son. Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum and they're also losing. After a certain amount of time, you. Liverpool you, you have taken the lead. Who you've played. Like, the only th real things I take note of Liverpool when I play a lower league career mode. Champions. They look like champions out there. Nowadays, it's just what did I accomplish? Mane! It's well read by the goalkeeper. No, Could I have done so. anything better? Coutinho. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Mane. Mane trying to set up a team. Good ball in. Goal. The old one, two. So quick, one after the other. And it's that man again. Mo Salah. Have got the goal. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Lovely the error. Was great. And Not the bravery to get ahead of his man. Not what you'd expect. There's some header. I don't hear anyone arguing. <laughs> Starting at 2-0. Joshua Gilavogi. Here is uh, Diawara. Stefano Akaka. To Robertson. Very good Manny. forward thinking from Liverpool. Always on the front foot. Oh, he's cut that out. Salah. Salah. Goal. The ball didn't even go directly to Salah. The defender it took a very poor touch and Salah just snatched it away well, from his toes. With his second goal and he took it in excellent style just like the first one. Well I say defender that could have been a mid Here is oh, another right. angle on that goal. Understand why he does the Luis Suarez celebration thing. Hmm. He scored a good few goals this season. He has not done that once. Younes Cabal, Joshua Gilavogi. You get the feeling EA don't watch a lot of Italian football, do they? Dang, I, I don't watch Italian football. Maybe he was doing that in Italy. And that'll be uh, his. Uh, he doesn't time really time have a signature celebration for Liverpool. Just celebrate. As they a lot. This attack. The season has been uh, his, uh, his signature. Stefano Akaka. And he could get away here. Oh, it's got Bye -bye. And he's put it away. Four nil. Thanks for coming. Keep it down, put it into the back Thanks for having us, Watford. We'll be out. We'll be leaving with three points and leaving you. Well, I don't know where they are on the table, so 
I'll leave you wherever you are in the table, so good luck. Extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Punched away by the goalkeeper. It's not really going to get the better of him from that range, especially when he can see it all the way. It was good progress with this attack. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. He's got his shot off now. Oh, what a finish. Paulo Daiba, the man just loves a goal, doesn't he? Look at a marvel at a guess. Loves a goal. Two for him today. And two very well taken goals. Have another peek at that goal. One team really on their game today, the other very off colour. Gabriel Paletta. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Quick passing from Liverpool to open up the opposition if they can. Wild challenge. Quick witted and quick in his movement. Wasn't, to, to it was a bad pass, but it, got the it ended up getting the result. Because so uh, that's who I wanted to pass to. That's not what this. I wanted to do here. To play in the defense. Let's come back. Hey. Oh, and it almost left. came perfectly to. to, um. Emre Chan. Good. <laughs> and there's a point there for some reason. Kabul. Played in back. Dybala. Dybala. Good save. Well, they line up for the corner. Coutinho's corner. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minute. Put into the middle. Three minutes of having time. Liverpool's corner. Well, this guy looks like he's the one the opposition having the most problems with. Well, you can see from the graphic how busy he's been. The shot's on. Oh, and there it is, the goal. Got the sixth goal. I think it's Morsala again. It's yes, it is. Never forget. I knew I saw a one. I wasn't too sure if it was eleven. Of course, it was eleven. the match ball for him afterwards. Because of a hat trick. Yeah, he won't forget this day in a hurry. Top stuff from him. Neatly tucked home. It's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted. For his 20 second goal of the season. Oh, An amazing yeah. first half. I think that actually means he has more than he like. has. Half time here and who is in, uh, in real life. Which is hilarious. Is Ryan Shawcross, who's been out of sorts lately, and just one out-and-out -out attacker in the line. Going to try one now. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Mane trying to set up a teammate with a cross. Well, that's the old one. Really good forward thinking from Liverpool. Oh, he's cut that out. Salah, and there it is for Liverpool. And he could get away here. Oh, it's got to be. Well, we wait to see what the second half brings. The first half was conclusive, but you don't win the game at half time. Strong challenge. I hear Warren and he came back from there. Coutinho. Coutinho. Nathaniel Coutinho. Klein. Nathaniel. Now he's looking for support. 
Hit oh, success. What are you going to do? Come on. Very weak Just, challenge. Uh, let Nathaniel Klein run right past you, huh? Now it's a corner. Continue run. One of the players that we really thought at the start of the game players. would be the sort of guy we're talking at the end. For well, the first off the attack, to but at the expense of corner. A positive way the way he's played today. Yeah, and I think the uh, opposition goalkeeper can thank his defenders for restricting this player to that amount of shots you can see on your screen. Coutinho trying to reach Sadio. The boy in, and it's another goal. This time it's Mane. Picked up, and they paid a heavy price for that. He is high and mighty with that goal. So he many goals. Literally head and shoulders above everybody. You know what's funny? I'll probably score one against Portugal. Affair, but look at the scoreline. Team, team everyone would and they've say, out. you know what? Smash them. That's exactly why you, you don't say that, because then you lo losers struggle to score against them. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Chan. Now it goes Sa. into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Kyle Beatwood. Really oh, trying to use yeah, the full width uh, of the pitch yeah. here to make some uh, progress. Uh, I wish we could add to the speculation that's going uh, on about this potential transfer, but it's still in the realms of potential. We can't tell you it's been done yet. Wouldn't it just? I mean, the rumours have been swirling. Mm, never really. Didn't win that. I didn't expect it. See if there's them. any substance to them. Berta actually looked like he See, attempted to win. And you can hear it in the lack of noise say, yeah, like trying, from the supporters. Like just looked well, on and can't just even said, to give their players a at the I, moment. They're just stunned into silence. It was a waste of time. Manager's going to bring just, on a fresh player now. Yeah. Coutinho. I'm not sure. I think he has. Dibala. Dibala. Oh, fantastic goal. I think Barcelona. It's his third goal. It's a hat trick today. He's really been on form. When when this is being recorded, let me see. Yeah, they are. They're playing Espanol in the Copa de Rey. Right. I wonder if Phil will be he's back got a hat trick. Yeah, he's been a hmm. danger from the start. His work rate, his, his runs off the ball have been top class. I wonder. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but on, all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Neatly intercepted. Good awareness by the referee to play the advantage here. Zarate. Coutinho. This is a class act, fella. Oh, he's loving it. He's enjoying every minute of his game. He's on the top of his form. And now the shot! Good stretch by the goalkeeper. Pushed that away from last danger. Season. Into a Sheffield United that fan, they would probably have laughed at your... Gula. Who? Who, even while they were sitting comfortably at top of League One. The opponent was strong, but not strong enough. Not often you see back-to-back -back promotion. Here's Diawara. But, uh, someone often did that, didn't they? And I think Leicester and Bournemouth and also did. Well, they're in a good position here. And then it goes towards the far post. I can't confirm that. And here's the shot. Up for grabs here. Liverpool will get the throw. His job is to sit in front of the back four and really help the defence. But it's not been that kind of game has it and he's been moved around a bit he's off now anyway well he has i mean the opposition in fairness have played i can't really confirm well. where bournemouth it or leicester i know for he just couldn't get his foot in and, uh, and didn't do his job they're in league one then them, only a two. corner could have been worse under nigel atkinson taken by coutinho put away he, but not then he got sacked for pochettino and still got a bit to do but this is from there, didn't they? Very good distance to the clear. Oh, my thing is Liverpool. No, I'm not sure. I, I'm not. In towards Mane. I think 
did it. And it's a straightforward save. Ooh. Yeah, that was picking cherries. He saved that 100 times out of 100. The goalkeeper was a lucky boy. Could have easily he been a own goal. Three minutes of added time. On the attack here. Referee didn't even want to see if there was a counter attack. He was like, yeah, it's fine. Save, save the goals you have bottled in class. You're gonna need them if you're struggling against Portsmouth. Which, unfortunately, is a viable option because, well, it is what it is. I would switch over just yet because. Then I'll have someone from the main team come to me and say, Uh, oh, I want to play in the Epic. I want to play in this match. Wah, wah, wah. Freaking hell. Seriously, they need to introduce some way of telling the players, Look, it's early in this competition. I'm going to send out the players who don't really get some regular game time. That's all. That's all. That's all I'm doing. You're not being benched. You're not being forgotten. You're not being this. You're not being that. You're simply in a situation where you just need to just look at it from my point of view. I'm trying to supply regular game time to a whole bunch of players there's, there's and it's just a case of if on this occasion you're just not playing simple as that simple as that how how hard is that seriously players can talk to the manager but the manager can't come back can't talk back seriously like what do I need a, a microphone thing in the PlayStation? Or you know, didn't when they when they in the uh, on the three sixty? I never had three sixty, but like if I th I I have a, I have a friend who has three sixty, and he said the connect could like pick up. What you were saying, or something like that, or the microphone inside the the because there's a microphone. There was like a microphone built into. I don't know if it was the PS3 or if it were the uh, the Xbox 360. But one of them had a microphone built in. If it was turned on, the referee could actually hear you shouting at him, which is a nice change of pace. But, you know, you could get a warning. I think you could actually get sacked for doing that. I, I don't know. I, I know I saw that somewhere. I can't remember where. But I, I think... I, I'm, I'm sure I saw that somewhere. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Uh, ben Woodburn. Actually, No. Let's play Rios. Let's play Rios. And let's play Miranda. Because then she can say. Hey, she at least got one. Damn! Five star skills and four star weak foot. If only your potential and stats weren't ass! You'd be great! Seriously! Damn! You, got, uh, you think you'd have. Decent pace, but look at that stamina. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, maybe if you're a cam. Actually, if you're a cam, then you'd be a fantastic player. I mean, think about it. You don't really need a lot of pace to be a, 
to play in that position. Hmm. I just realized I said that I didn't get any offers. I completely forgot you can get offers that you can accept outside of the transfer windows, not anything. Maybe that's why the board warned asked me to sell Rigi as soon as possible. But see that that's that's improving the game. Being able to tell your players, like, even if it's only a short little thing, like you go into it and like in football manager, football manager is an absolute great like a example of what I'm trying to what I would like to be introduced in FIFA because in football manager you can actually talk to the players normally it's about you know whether they're in good form or not or they got a match ban or they're pissed off off it yeah they'll come and say hey why didn't you do this squad why it does Where look more like play? What the fuck's four going one, on? Four four two. Say that, but not gonna go for that yellow card. Basically, yeah. they come to you and you and they bitch, and you actually get the chance to respond. Even if, even if EA did that, even if EA just had a list of like, like, say, I'm not playing you because of this reason, or really you're being rested, or whatever. Just have a nice, have a simple list of a few options of what that will allow us to tell the player why they are playing in this certain game, and then this will uh, this will cause less frustration when a when the player or who thinks he's been dropped. Of just randomly, even though if he were playing like in the last game. Seriously, I've had players who I play he for games on end, I drop him for one game, and he comes to me and says, Why have you taken me out of the team? I'm like, It was one game. What are you talking about? What, 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 what are you smoking? What, what have you inhaled into your system? What have you injected into your system? Which has messed up your mind to the point where you couldn't see. I was clearly resting you. Ooh. For me, it's a mixture of resting and ro rotation. You know, I have a big swat. I'm trying to get as many guys, as many minutes as possible. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Every a manager in the world does that. I might actually believe that someone like, say, Cristiano Ronaldo, oh, oh, was not played in the Copa del Rey. Hey, if it were again some random team, maybe Zinedine Zidane has never fucking heard of them. He's like, these guys are in the lower divisions. We're not even going to need to play a full squad. Cristiano, you can have the day off. You're telling me Ronaldo's going to be pissed? He's going to say, thank you very much. I'll enjoy the day with my son. Thank you very much. I'll still get paid. Hell yeah. Uh, no surprise that. Have fun. Go to Disneyland if you want. I, I guarantee you that's exactly how that would go. Ronaldo wouldn't go, oh. You must play me. I am Cristiano Ronaldo. Even with even his arrogant ass wouldn't be that fucking idiotic. He would know. Oh, he's being saved for more important matches. Not that the cup matches are important, but you know, earlier stages are less important. Like, yeah, if I lose here, I'm out. Oh. What? This could be it. I don't have any fear that my great goalkeeper he, great save. Well he shouldn't have been fair there, but he's younger and less used players can't get the job done. I have no fear whatsoever. I should have fear, but I'm actually really good with these players. As a 
And so I have actually managed to score more than one goal. On this game. I was uh, I only expecting to score one. That's an own goal, by the way, but that, it still fucking counts. He was caught on his heels and should have done a lot better. But it's bullshit. It's bullshit to see and to think that players will jump down their manager's throat if they're left out of one fucking game. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Own goal that's particularly annoying for the team and the player in question. In no way, shape, or form is that how it works. Good forward play from them. Taking on the defenders. That's out. This will be a throw. Well, now they've got the ball. What are they going to do with it? That's a brilliant challenge. That will be a throw now after the tackle. Now, if it's a guy like Divock Origi, I can understand why Origi is opposition. He thinks he should be playing a lot more than he it's should. A free kick. He is. The referee has and decided to award. They spread it out wide here. Unfortunately, uh, I agree. I actually agree. If I were, if I didn't have Paul Dybala, I would definitely be playing Origi. Because I, he thinks Origi is a fantastic player. I, he hopes Origi Pop sees the value in Origi to keep him. Rather than letting him go. Oh, I don't know why he's sitting in Germany. He, he rather than using his physical power to protect the ball. Playing his socks off for Liverpool. Under some pressure, he shielded it well. Look, life sucks. You know, it does. And I, 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 I don't. Have anything against a guy like Danny Ings? If we can get him scoring, and maybe we'll get the Danny Ings we saw burn. A man who actually can find the back of the net and when called upon. Same with Dominic Solanke. He. Kyle Bennett. I think he. He'd be a really good goal scorer. Be four minutes. I think the key to Solanke is just, you know, get him a bit. Now, can he Once he off? gets that first goal, I think that will give him the Try confidence. The it seems to be a lack of confidence. Anyway, I don't know what I keep thinking that, but I don't know. It just feels like he's not confident enough to put the ball in the back of the net. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. It seems like and there goes it's the always just... Not there for us. Scoreline is 2 0. But I mean, what would be the harm with, say, next season when Origi is back? Back? And this might sound crazy. Loan Solanke to one of the promoted teams. I know. We know. We know. Uh, um. We know Wolves are coming up. I don't think they'll be looking for a striker. Maybe, I don't know, Derby if they come up. Or maybe Sheffield United if they come up. Loan him to them. And if he scores some goals, that will build confidence. You want him to get the confidence in what the first half brought for them. Scoring in the Premier League, I can that. I can do that. I'm a professional football. I'm a striker. It's my job. Four goals. I just think it's a confidence. I really do. I think if he had the confidence, you would see someone get you know decent few goals. Maybe he double digits, possibly. In a season, I'm not saying he'd get most solid numbers, but you know, he might get 10 in a season. Hmm. By the end of the season, not halfway through. Or in like five games like Salah did. I'm saying, like, he could be a decent striker, and if he scores one, it might breed, it'll breed the confidence to score more, which will breed the confidence to score more, and you never know what'll happen. Confidence can be a big thing in football. If a team is confident, 
they can beat anybody. It can also be a curse. Like if a team is too confident, then they're bound to be brought down a peg. Like in in um in in real life. I guarantee you, the Liverpool team were f on fucking cloud nine. They thought they were cat fucking business after their eight snapped Man City's seemingly unbeatable run. Yes, Man City should have lost to Crystal Palace, but that's not the point. They want to know whether this is a done deal or not we can tell you it's not done but it might be if City come to the end of the season and have only one loss they'll look at that and it'll drive them nuts well I bet uh, he's desperate for the move to go it will do it'll inspire them it'll, it'll make them say you know what next season we are gonna go on beating we are gonna, we're just gonna spend more money we're gonna get better Oh, we're going to go out and make sure no one beats us. Not even Liverpool. Well, not Quick Arsenal, not Manchester United, not Chelsea. Ain't no one. For Liverpool. I can guarantee you, Bristol City, when they came up against Man City during the week, I guarantee you. He, it was in Bristol City's head, they were like, our Man City, he's still licking their wounds from the loss to Liverpool. Are they vulnerable? Are they there to be beaten? And again, now, did happen, but I'm sure, I can almost guarantee you that's exactly what the Bristol will say team were, went into that match thinking. And I would say, up until Man City scored, that they were still thinking that. Hell, they might have still been thinking it up until City got their second goal, because it was really only over when City did get their second goal. Lose it here. Yeah, Bristol City got two goals back, but City almost immediately scored a third goal and made Bristol City's two goals irrelevant. With the first leg of the AFL Cup semi-final fixture, for Liverpool, they'll be hosting Huddersfield Town. When you get to this stage, nobody wants to make a mistake. He's had a go here! And the goalkeeper can take charge now. He screened the ball well there. And that's a turnover to the opposition. That's good movement forward here. That's going to be a throw in after that tackle. And here's the shot. I, I, I managed to get a second goal, but I haven't really found the third goal. <laughs> uh. It's a real good vision. Rios! Yes, there we go. Almost as soon as I mentioned something about a third goal. Oh. one-sided as it's turned out, Rios is like, what? There you go. Boom. Pretty straightforward this match. And the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they've just compounded Lovely pass from Neves. First time as well from Rios. Let's take another look at the goal. Just an absolute beauty of a finish. Well, it's a tough game for the team that are trailing. They're out of the contest, really. They're just playing for pride. They're really being torn apart. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. That could open. Shots on here. Ooh. I was going to say, do not... That pass never looked like reaching right. its target. Cool bullshit. Right here. 
There we go. Nice three nil for three. Yes, one of them was an own goal. Does it matter? Hell no. I refer you to me not giving a shit. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, smash the like button when you did, subscribe if you're new, and, uh, peace, uh, sorry, just a little, I have to figure out something out.